Steve Fishwick. I'm a jazz trumpet player based in London and I'm a shilky artist and I'm here with Phil Parkers uh, and I'm going to talk to you today about lip bending. Uh, and we're going to go through some exercises from the Art Farmer book, The Art of Art Farmer. Uh, and I'm going to try and give you my interpretation of a couple of exercises in this book. And um, the first one is on page seven, uh, the lip and tongue slurs. I would say tongue slurs is a little bit weird to describe them, but I would say lip slurs. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, just playing a middle G in a healthy kind of MF volume. And uh, we're going to try and move the trumpet away ever so slightly, you know, millimetres. We're just going to move it away. We're not going to do anything with the air or the lips. We're just going to move the trumpet away and the pitch should dip. So. So you can practice that and try and keep the air very, very steady and keep the air going. Stage two of this is uh, to, instead of moving the trumpet away with your hands, you're gonna move the trumpet, you're gonna push the trumpet away with your lips, so away from your teeth, so almost like a kind of a purse, pursing your lips. So this is more like this. come back up the, hopefully the sound will be more resonant if you're keeping the air very very steady first of all you're going to play with a valve and then you're going to bend down and back up again level three of difficulty is uh, also in the Art Farmer book, there's a couple of pages on from there, and it's playing a C scale with no vowels. So you can try to play all of the notes in between the partials with no vowels. So it should sound something like this. And it doesn't sound good. It's not supposed to sound good. You're not going to make friends with your neighbours or anything like that, but you know it's going to help your trumpet playing. So. 